Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to draw the acceleration time graph from a velocity time graph. So here, consider the velocity time graph shown here. Then how can we draw the acceleration time graph from this velocity time graph? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. So you see in the velocity time graph, velocity values are taken along the along this axis and time values are taken along this axis. Then while we are drawing the corresponding acceleration time graph, we will take the acceleration values along this axis and the time values along this axis. We may have positive x-axis, uh, we, we may need positive y-axis, negative y-axis, negative x-axis, etc. Okay, so you have to draw all this according to the need of your, I mean according to the graph. So you see, uh, here the velocity time graph is uh, drawn like this, it is shown like this. How can we draw the acceleration time graph from this velocity time graph? So you see first you consider this time interval that is 0 to 4 seconds. So in this time interval that is from 0 seconds to 4 seconds. You can see the velocity time graph is a straight line which is inclined to this time axis. It is a straight line like this. So what about the acceleration? We know that acceleration is the slope of the velocity time graph. Okay, so we just want to find out the slope of this graph. How can we find out the slope? We just want to form a triangle here. Okay, you will get a triangle here. Then this side divided by this side will give you the acceleration. What about this side? This this one is actually corresponds to 30. This one actually corresponds to 0. 30 meter per second. Then 0 meter per second. So 30 minus 0, that is 30 meter per second divided by this side, this side means 4 seconds minus 0 seconds. 4 minus 0, 4. Alright, so while you are doing this 30 by 4, you will be getting 7.5 meter per second square. Alright, next you take this one, that is from 4 seconds to 8 seconds. Uh, before that, uh, we will draw the graph, that's better I think. So you see... Uh, between this interval of time that is 0 seconds to 4 seconds, we are getting the acceleration as 7.5 meter per second square. Here the velocity time graph, it is a straight line like this. That means acceleration is a constant which is equal to 7.5 meter per second square. So here we have acceleration values measured, I mean uh, marked along the along this axis and time values are marked along this axis. So from 0 seconds to 4 seconds, the acceleration value is 7.5 meter per second square. It is a constant from 0 seconds to 4 seconds. Okay, so I have drawn that line here corresponding to 7.5 meter per second square. Alright, next you consider this interval 4 seconds to 8 seconds. So between that 4 seconds and 8 seconds, the velocity time graph is a straight line which is parallel to the time axis. Is there any slow for this graph? Is there any slope for this line? No, slope is equal to 0. You see, from 4 seconds to 8 seconds, the velocity is 30 meter per second. There is no change in velocity from 4 seconds to 8 seconds. So from 4 seconds to 8 seconds, since there is no change in velocity, or since the slope of this line, which is parallel to the time axis, is 0, acceleration is equal to what? 0. Alright, so acceleration is 0 means from 4 seconds to 8 seconds, you will be getting a straight line here. Okay, from 4 seconds to 8 seconds. Next, consider 8 seconds to 12 seconds. You can see from 8 seconds to 12 seconds, the velocity time graph, it is a straight line which is inclined to the time axis. So, it is clear that the acceleration is a constant. Now, what about the value of that acceleration? Slope of this graph. So, you just want to form a triangle by drawing two lines like this. Then this side divided by this side will give you the slope of this line. Okay, so acceleration in this case will be the slope of this graph. Slope of this graph means this side. This side means 50 minus 30. 50 minus 30, 20 divided by this side. That is 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. 20 by 4 is what? 5. So 5 meter per second square. Alright, that is from... 8 seconds to 12 seconds, the acceleration is a constant which is equal to 5 meter per second square. 
so 5 corresponding to that 5 value I mean 5 meter per second square you can draw a straight line from 8 meter per second I'm mean, I mean from 8 seconds to 12 seconds so you will get a line like this all right next you see uh, the interval of time that is 12 seconds to 16 seconds 12 seconds to 16 seconds that is a straight line but it is a straight line like this that is decrease in velocity is taking place here so the slope will be a negative one slope will be a negative one this value corresponds to 50 this value corresponds to 20 so what about acceleration final velocity 20 minus initial velocity 50 divided by 16 minus 12 16 minus 12 is 4 so 20 minus 50 minus 30 divided by 4 what is minus 30 divided by 4 minus 7.5 meter per second square okay so when you are considering this interval of time that is from 12 seconds to 16 seconds the acceleration is minus 7.5 meter per second square so minus 7.5 meter per second square means along this axis now along the negative y axis right so minus 7.5 meter per second square between 14 to 16 not no 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 between what 12 to 16 seconds so 12 is here 16 is here then between 12 seconds and 16 seconds the acceleration is minus 7.5 and it is a constant that is why we are getting the acceleration like this okay so this is actually the acceleration time graph corresponding to this velocity time graph now if you want you can join this okay one is here all right so you can join like this so you will get the acceleration time graph corresponding to this given velocity time graph so i hope you understood how to convert the velocity time graph to acceleration time graph thank you